Number 10, Dragon's Dogma. A Capcom RPG made to resemble a more realistic medieval era. Open world game with vast exploration, tons of side quests and a modest variety of enemies. It also offered a multiplayer mode. Even though it's a fun RPG, it's kinda ignored nowadays. Back in 2012, however, it became one of the best JRPGs to play. Number 9. Tales of the Abyss So, this is the port of the PS2 version with little to no difference. Aside from faster loading times, there really wasn't anything new to it. But, you know, this is the version that a lot of people played since they didn't have a PlayStation 2. It plays really good though, so honestly, you can't go wrong with either one. Number 8. Is Origin Initially released in Japan around 2006, it didn't see the light in the rest of the world until 6 years afterwards. It was exclusive to PC and it stayed that way for a while until its console ports several years later. You know I'm a big fan of this game, the prequel of the series, the one with 3 different playable characters, excellent soundtrack, swift controls and overall a very addictive gameplay. Number 7. Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor 2 So when the first game was already carving its fame in both the DS and 3DS, this late release came along. Still an atrociously hard strategy RPG, but not as much as its amazing predecessor. Great adventure, again with overly addicting mechanics. That original battle system, man, was just nimble. Story was awesome too, it's just this time there were more highly stereotyped characters, but that was okay. Number 6. The Last Story A game that took the world by surprise because its name was literal, Sakaguchi's last written adventure on a video game. A fantastic action RPG with dark and baroque graphics, full of strategy and dexterity. Lovely story filled with good romance amongst the harsh truths of kingdoms, magics and treachery. Definitely inside the highest ranked RPGs on the Wii and one of the best of 2012. Number 5. Ragnarok Tactics A personal favorite on the PSP, criminally overlooked, masterful strategy RPG, grid based with tons of jobs and classes available. I often praise it because of its three main playable characters, all with their diverse paths to follow. Beautiful artwork and graphic design here. You appreciate this while taking part of a raveled story that carefully unwinds with the choices you make. Number 4. Tales of Graces F Another underrated game, perhaps stingy for having a convoluted combat? Let's not forget about its crashes difficulty thanks to this. I, however, say this in a good sense, as it is one of those RPGs where the more you practice, the more enjoyable it gets. It was first released on the Wii back in 2009. Three years later, the complete and definitive version came out on the PlayStation 3. With its long and charming story, full of character progression, it became one of the best JRPGs of this year. Number 3. Growlancer Wayfarer of Time 
perhaps my favorite RPG on the system, but you know it. I have a love-hate relationship with it, all the blame going to its ridiculously hard challenge. Some missions are balanced and strategic, while others grind on your nerves, ultimately destroying your patience. That doesn't change the fact that it's a very addictive game. Rollancer 4 has one of the best stories ever written, with several different routes, crucial decisions that affect absolutely everything in the long and taxing journey you'll have. Number 2. Xenoblade Chronicles This is a role-playing game that threw the Xeno series into a ginormous commercial success. An action-adventure filled with science fiction within a specially crafted universe. Its real-time combat, relying on many different skills and combos, blew people's minds. Just as its boundless open world, its seamless possibilities and its amazingly intricate story. Number 1. Persona 4 Golden I'll be honest, as always, any of the last four games could have easily taken the throne here. 2012 was a pillar in gaming, having two extremely popular and successful games, along with some of my favorites. It was hard to decide which one to crown, but I ended up yielding to the ultimate version of Persona 4, a game that instantly became a personal number one for millions of gamers out there. This was a hard year to decide for me. While Persona 4 and Xenoblade Chronicles are not among my favorites, I had to follow my instincts anyway. No matter how much I love those PSP RPGs, I admit they're not even in my top 20. So in the end, I humbly allowed passage to these two important games in history. Now let's see what 2013 has prepared for us.